Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We fight our way out of it Healy says Australia can win from anywhere by Malcolm Con March 20, 2022, 1.20 p.m. Say blog in, register or subscribe to save articles for later. Share normal text size larger text size very large text size have undefeated Australia set up their own handicap system to create extra challenges as they charge towards the semi-finals of the Women's World Cup. In their pool match against India on Saturday, it was like they added a few extra hurdles, conceding 24 runs from 16 wide deliveries, almost three extra overs, fumbling in the field and dropping India's best player to make a record run chase even more exciting. They eventually ran down India's target of 278 on Saturday evening in Auckland, the best chase in Women's World Cup history to win by six wickets with three balls to spare and set up a top-of-the-table clash with unbeaten South Africa in Wellington on Tuesday. No handicap system, Alyssa Healy assured the cricket world on Sunday, about 18 hours after her most important innings of the tournament, 72 from 65 balls, to set up Australia's record chase. She had no doubt they would reach the target. That's something we pride ourselves on in this group the ability to potentially win a game from anywhere and situation. When our backs are against the wall, we fight our way out of it. That's exactly what you need in one-day cricket, that's exactly what you need in a World Cup. You need to find a way to win games and, yes, the first half of our game wasn't perfect, but it wasn't disastrous. Alyssa Healy guides one away during Australia's record run chase against India credit, Getty potentially they could have put 300 on us and if we had batted first, we would have been looking at that score as well knowing how good the wicket was. Not being perfect was probably a good thing. You don't want to be playing your perfect cricket now. Ominously for opposition teams with the finals approaching. Healy and Captain Meg Lanning made their most important contributions during a relatively quiet tournament, with player of the match Lanning scoring 97. Yesterday was a bit of a pat on the back for Meg and I, Healy said. We shared a net together the day before and were trying to pump one and other's tyres up knowing that runs were just around the corner. For us, it's a great confidence boost heading into the pointy end of the tournament knowing that everyone else is flying around us. It's exciting times for us, I think. The other key factor has been the diligent use of teenage fast bowler Darcy Brown, who has played three of Australia's six matches in the tournament. During her last two, against New Zealand and India, she has claimed the first three wickets. It's really fun to keep back a little bit further than I normally would said Healy. Darcy coming down breeze, downhill, in Wellington is a sight to behold. Healy described Brown's contribution as amazing. Full credit to our coaching and fitness staff for resting her when we needed to and playing her in the games we've needed her. She's done an outstanding job. We're going to need her for the back end of the tournament so keeping her as fresh as we can is the way to go. She's been awesome. Thank you for reading the Herald. This article is complimentary. Register or log in now to read more articles and unlock extra benefits. No payment required. Read more. Continue with Google. Continue with Apple or email address. Continue by continuing. You agree to your personal information being collected under a privacy policy and accept our terms of use. Hide content.